Everyone, Kevin Martin, Chief Research Officer at I4CP. Here's your five minutes or less recap of our May 15th Senior HR Leader CHRO COVID-19 Response Series call. Now, briefly and very quickly, the previous week we had Rob Cross as our guest. Why? Because workforce well-being undoubtedly is the silent victim of the COVID-19 pandemic. And we had just completed a significant study on workforce well-being, on holistic whole person well-being with Rob. And I'm thrilled to say that that report we're making available to everyone. It's downloadable for free at the Coronavirus Resource Center at i4cp.com. Please go download it and, uh, and enjoy. Um, this week, we shifted gears. We had the CHRO of Prudential, Lucien Alziari, as our guest. Prudential has 51,000 employees. Lucien said all of them are working remote right now. And 97% of their business unit leaders are reporting no blip in productivity since then. So they're in a pretty unique uh, position as a firm with not having uh, workers essentially having to be on site. But what Lucien was talking about is how this is the time right now for CHROs to really think about a few things. Number one, it's about thinking about work differently. As Lucien put it, he said 10, 10 weeks ago, we were talking about the future of work. The future of work is now, we're in it right now. So take that and think about what are the silver linings that you've seen from your workplaces and workforces that you need to continue driving this business forward. Also, his challenge to CHROs, define what are the three things that you're going to focus on over the next six months that you're going to nail that will shape your business in the next five years. Spend 80% of your time on that. Well, where's Lucian spending his time? He told us it's around supporting the evolving business strategy about the changing of the company culture, and then looking at the talent that's got to support the work that's going to be very different and done differently at Prudential going forward. Now, this poll question is actually Lucien's question that he helped me co-create before the meeting. And we wanted to know collectively, where are you, the CHRO, trying to get the most value from this crisis in order to most impact your company going forward? And you could choose as many answers as you wanted here. You could see that the top answer, 83%, was thinking differently about how work gets done. And that is incredibly important. That really speaks to where Lucian's mindset is. And, uh, and I want to show you this model because this model really brings things to life. This is a model from I4CP. We've had it for years. Our, our members refer to it as the people profit chain. But basically what it shows is that there's five key domains of a high performance organization. Lucian told us that he's focused on three of these right now, the strategy piece, the culture piece, and the talent piece. And what I wanted to share with everyone is it's important to remember, these aren't necessarily linear the way you need to think about things. These represent a continuous loop. In other words, in this era of continuous disruption, where it's no longer about managing change, it's about managing in change. The way you need to be thinking about this is we just had a significant shock to the market in the coronavirus. So your strategy, your business strategy has adapted. It's changing in order to help your company survive, if not thrive going forward. Now, when that strategy shifts, there needs to be a shift in culture in order to support that new shift in strategy, which has all kinds of leadership implications on it. But the talent piece is huge. And this is, and many, and this is where Lucien was talking about you know, things like the skill sets and the mindsets, how are they changing in order to support the work that will be done in this new and evolving business strategy? So look at your work components. Look at the jobs that you have. Do those jobs, are they relevant anymore? How will they change? What are the skill sets and mindsets needed to upskill or reskill in, in order to support that? Or do you need to look at your talent ecosystem differently? In other words, where you're pulling talent from, does that provide you the capability, capacity, and agility you need in order to manage in this continuous disruption versus being managed by it? A lot of implications here for the heads of HR. 
We're going to continue that as our focus point when we meet in two weeks. So this week, we're taking off. We hope you do too. We all need a break. But on May 29th, we have the Chief HR Officer, Kirsten Robinson of Ford, who's going to be our guest Ford is going through a massive culture transformation in order to support the business evolution under their CEO, Jim Hackett. Kirsten has shared with us their return to office and return to workplace non-manufacturing playbook, which is available for everyone at the Coronavirus Resource Center that we've created. And we look forward to a very robust discussion with her about how does HR, how is she going to be supporting the changing nature of work at Ford going forward to support that ever-evolving business strategy. So we'll see you in a couple of weeks and enjoy the nice, relaxing holiday weekend. Stay well.